everyone, I'm Jose, or the Seth Rokage, or, you know, whatever you want to call me. Uh, I'm just here with a little bit of a life update, because I have been gone from doing content for a while. Um, so I have some notes here to kind of guide me, but this is mostly going to be a bit of a rambly, going off the rails mess. Uh, it's, it's not going to go 100% according to plan. What happens, happens, so I apologize for that ahead of time, just so you know, up front. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Why did I step away from doing content and why did I stop using social media entirely? And that includes, uh, well, I guess I still use Reddit. Re Reddit, I find, is a very good way to curate what you want to what you want to look at for very specific communities. I like looking at the Dead by Daylight community. I love playing Dead by Daylight. I want to know updates, what everyone's thinking, blah, blah, blah. It's not just this whole big general whole thing like Twitter. We'll, we'll get into that later. Uh, but I've stepped away from social media. I still have like a Facebook account for family and stuff. But I don't use it basically at all. I maybe use Messenger to talk to people. That's about the extent of it. But so let's go ahead and dive into why I kind of stepped away. And one plain and simple is I just burned myself out. I was doing way too much, way too fast. Keep myself to such a strict schedule, even on days that I'd be out at somewhere like Disneyland, I was still making sure all my uploads went through, that all the promotional tweets and everything was scheduled on all these different social media platforms. It, w it was just a lot. It, it was too much, and it killed any motivation I had. And then on top of that, you had the statistics and analytics, and, and I, I didn't have any illusions that I was going to become like YouTube famous or huge or anything like that, but I like keeping an eye on stuff. I like seeing how things are going or whatever, and... Uh, you know, pe people are right when they tell you not to do that because it just stresses you out. It's just anxiety on the back of your mind. It's, uh, I don't recommend it. It doesn't matter at what level you are. Except maybe, you know, if you're a business, you got other people you got to take care of. Point being, this was a hobby and looking at that stuff kind of killed it for me. And to be entirely honest, it was a lot of work even just doing the podcast because on the podcast you got to think. So I was preparing the show notes, I was writing stories, I was on the podcast talking, I was running the entire video production, the stream, the everything, editing, uploading, promoting, doing additional streams, running socials, like the bulk of the work on any podcast or show you see online, the part where you see people talk for an hour or two, that is the easy part. That's also the least time consuming part. And I'm not trying to say like, oh, anyone can talk on a camera. It's easy peasy. Like it's it's you still need like a decent personality. You still need to be able to know how to talk to people. But the bulk of the work is on the back end. And that took up a, an extreme considerable amount of time to, to actually do on top of me working an actual full time job where I do over at least at the time I was doing a bunch of overtime on a daily basis. So it was it was just a lot going on. And once the pandemic lockdowns ended, I just wanted to prioritize hanging out with my IRL friends, which I hate to be blunt, but they just mean more. They're they're real life connections I have. I wanted to spend time with them versus with uh, people online. And I just want to shout out my girlfriend Des for being entirely supportive about everything I did with my uh, content creation stuff. She never complained a single time, even if it kind of cut into our uh, spending time together time. Uh, she was completely supportive the entire time. I just want to thank her for that. And uh, two, without going into any details at all, because I want to respect every single person's privacy, uh, airing dirty laundry is not something I condone. I wish people in general would not do it. Um, but behind the scenes, there was a little bit of drama. And I want to be extremely explicit when I say that I'm grateful to every single person that spent time on the show contributing to the show, nothing will ever erase that. Very grateful to this day. Um, that's people's free time that we would schedule that they could have been doing other things. So very thankful to them, especially since, um, you know, we weren't necessarily pulling in a bunch of money. The, the money I made off of Twitch or Patreon, that went straight into paying for hosting the podcast on podcast services and also want to cover my premiere and after effects costs which at the end of the day um even even at the height of like the patreon stuff which wasn't much in the grand scheme of things uh it still didn't cover all that so everyone including myself uh did not make any profit off of it i just want to be very upfront with that um so yeah everyone contributed their own free time 
and I'm grateful for that. And I'm so proud of the majority of the content that myself and the team made, but I have gone back to specific episodes or segments and I've unlisted them, mostly just because I don't agree with them or I don't think that it should be public for you know various other reasons. And I've, I've probably missed some other stuff because I haven't gone through and watched rewatched every single episode. It, it's, just, it's just a lot to go through. Um, so majority of the stuff, there still might be some stuff I don't agree with in there, but I'm still proud of the content that we had made. And I still talk to some of my co-hosts on a semi-regular basis, you know, just because for the pure fact that we're friends, that's what friends do. But also plain and simple, um, this goes for Twitter, this goes for the podcast thing, whatever. Uh, I got tired of walking on eggshells. I don't think that's any way for any uh, reasonable person to live. And, um, you know, I had, I had already suffered from depression. I already had severe anxiety issues and panic attacks in the past. Um, but that was that was aggravating it. It was not making it any better in the slightest. Um, I, I had anxiety over running the show. I had anxiety over t- interacting with people. I just didn't want to have anything to do with it. Even after the show had ended, I dreaded posting or alluding to anything online, whether it's videos or just uh, tweets or whatever, because it's just the anxiety of any blowback. I, it just wrecked me. I didn't want to do anything. I was, I was a complete fucking mess. Uh, so yeah, I've been depressed for as long as I can remember. Um, but this period of time was an extreme low point for me. It was uh, not, not great. And Twitter sure as hell didn't help. To be brutally honest, I just don't like interacting with people on Twitter. I'm, I don't consider myself a social person. I can be. I'm an introverted person. I have some great in real life friends I love hanging out with, but I generally like to keep to myself. So I didn't like interacting with people on Twitter all that much. But I did make a decent amount of friends, uh, online friends, that I actually did really look forward to talking to. Uh, you know, whether it's respond to their tweet, they respond to mine. I just liked interacting with them. Uh, but the overwhelming majority of that website is is hell. Uh, when the lockdowns happened, I was basically completely locked off from my in real life friends. You know, I would still see like some people like at work or whatever, and I would still be able to like maybe play some games with some other people online that, uh, you know, that, that I play stuff online with. But for the majority of my friends, I was just completely cut off. I, I my, my connections, aside from calling and texting or whatever, it was, it was just evaporated. So when the lockdowns happened and I saw Twitter and I saw a handful of groups I had joined, it was kind of became a, a, a sanctuary for me to like go to, to be like, hey, I can like belong here. I can talk to people. And uh, that's a big regret of mine, to be perfectly honest. I've gone along with things. I've even said things I didn't necessarily 100% agree with because being part of those groups was important to me. And the constant pressure and the eggshells and everything, it was it's just too much, man. I, I, I don't understand how people can live like that. Twitter is just a hellscape of the most willfully miserable, obnoxious, and more often than not, overly sensitive people I've ever had the displeasure of, of running into. It's a perfect website for narcissists. It's a perfect platform for people to farm likes. It's a perfect platform for people to pretend to care about causes just to get engagement. And that's not to say that there aren't legitimate people on there. Uh, You know, they're out there. And now with Elon in charge, apparently the outright idiots, you know, like the racists, the transphobes, you know, all the just complete trash of the internet. They're just even more empowered. So it's even, it's even worse nowadays. So just in general, I hate what Twitter did to me. I hate the way that it made me feel compelled to use the website, how to talk on the website, to fall in line um, with the way people talked and and acted online, Uh, which is why moving forward, I'm not engaging with social media whatsoever. I'm keeping to what I've been doing recently. Um, so I don't care if that hurts any progress I make towards like YouTube endeavors, Twitch endeavors, whatever. I, I don't care. I just want to talk about games. I don't want to get into overt political rants. Um, I just want to keep it nice and pure and simple. And if you don't like that, you can go somewhere else for whatever. Sorry. So as for what I've been up to on a bit of a, on a brighter note, 
Uh, it's mostly just been relaxing, enjoying my time playing games, hanging out with friends, doing cool stuff like going to theme parks and uh, shows. Um, I'm actually going to a, going to an electric cowboy show next week, and I just went to a Falling Reverse slash um, Ice Nine Kill show about two three weeks ago, and they were so fucking good live, and I'm really looking forward to seeing Electric Cowboy. This is their first headliner tour in the U.S. Um, yeah, that's in a couple. What is what's today? Thursday. That's says like in four or five days. I'm going to see him. It's going to be awesome. And the big one is that I'm going to Japan this year. And I've been wanting to go since high school. And so just, I think it was last year. I finally went to my friends. I'm just like, you know what? We keep saying we want to do this. Let's just make a solid plan and let's just go. So I'm going to be in the greater Tokyo area for a little bit over a week with two of my friends and my girlfriend Des. Um, I got the whole thing planned out. I got a whole spreadsheet with times, dates, distances, directions, everything. We got this planned out. It's going to be a good time. But um, on a bit of a bummer update, and I don't want to dwell on this too long, um, my cat Bandit passed away on the 5th of July. And I don't want to go into specifics, and I just don't want to talk about it in general. But, you know, when we did the podcast and everything, he'd be on camera... So I thought I'd just let people know it's hard, and that was the worst day of my life. I don't want to talk about it, but uh, yeah, I have more tattoos now. That kind of evens out with the depression, kind of, maybe. <laughs> uh, but for future content, I'm not making promises on any schedule or anything, or even what cadence is going to come out, what formats. Um, but I do want to talk about games. That's what I want to do. That's where my head's at. So I'll talk about news, what I've been playing, just kind of like one-off kind of vlog style videos. Uh, no super complicated editing projects the way I used to, or even necessarily having a panel of speakers. Um, just want to kind of want to do it solo for a bit. If, if something comes up where I do want someone on, I'll bring someone on. But for the majority of stuff, I want to try to do things by myself for the time being. Um, I don't plan on streaming much, but if I do, I'm probably going to try to stick to YouTube instead of Twitch, and that just comes down to the fact that as a user or consumer or whatever, I'm just infinitely more familiar with YouTube. I don't personally engage with Twitch all that much, so I want to focus my efforts into something that I'm actually more passionate about versus trying to go to a platform that I don't fully understand, so that's what I'm going to be focusing my efforts on. So that's about it for the updates. I'll see you guys soon. And since I'm off social media, uh, if you want to reach out to me, you can just do it in the comments. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.